In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this color necklace. I like it very much because it's quite simple and fast to crochet, as it's only made of five rows. The first three rows are made with double crochet in the round, two of those rows with increases. Then, the last two rows are made with a combination of stitches. In the description of this clip, you will find a link that will take you to my blog. There you will find the written instructions and the support chart with symbols to complement this video. You will only need 50 grams of fine cotton yarn and a 3.5 or 3 mm crochet hook. To start, make 120 chains and close in the round, making a slip stitch in the first chain. Just take care not to twist your work when closing. And now, to start with row 1, chain 3. Then I will make double crochets starting from the second base chain. The beginning 3 chains replace the first double crochet. That's the reason why I start making double crochets from the second chain. And so I continue making double crochets all around my row. Row 1 has been finished with 120 stitches all around. This is my three beginning chains plus 119 double crochets more. And now to close my row I have to make a slip stitch in the third beginning chain. So I insert my hook, yarn over, and I pull through all the loops in my hook. So now row one has been closed. To start row two, I chain three, These three chains replace my first double crochet. And now I will continue making eight double crochets more. This makes a total of 9 stitches, the 3 beginning chains that replace the first double crochet and then 8 double crochets more. And now I will make one increase, so 2 stitches in one single stitch. So I make one double crochet and then I will make another double crochet in the same stitch. So now we have 9 double crochets and 1 increase. And I will repeat that same block of stitches. I finish the 9 double crochets and repeat the same increase. And I will continue repeating. 9 double crochets plus 1 increase for the remaining stitches of my row. Row 2 has been finished with 132 stitches all around. And I will close in the same way that I closed row number 1. So in the third beginning chain I make one slip stitch. To begin row 3 I chain 3 and then I will continue by making 9 double crochets more. For a total of 10 stitches 
my three beginning chains plus nine double crochets more. And now one increase. And I will continue making a block of 10 double crochets plus one increase for the remaining stitches of my row. Row 3 has been finished with 144 stitches all around. And now I will close in the same way that I did last two rows. So I slip stitch in the third chain to close and then I fasten off. Then I will count 49 stitches from the end of my work. So when I have located stitch number 49, I will insert my hook and take my yarn. I make a simple knot I insert my hook in the stitch again, I yarn over, pull through the stitch. So now I'm ready to start row number four. I chain one and I make one single crochet in the same stitch. Then I chain three. and I will skip two stitches to make one double crochet. I chain five and I will make one double crochet in the same stitch. Now I chain three again. I skip two stitches and I will repeat the same sequence. One single crochet. Then I chain three. I skip two stitches and I will make one double crochet. I chain five and make one double crochet in the same stitch. Then I chain three and I have finished my first two blocks of stitches of row number four. And I will continue repeating this sequence until I complete eight blocks of stitches. So when I have repeated my stitch sequence eight times, we will finish row four. So I will skip two stitches and then make one single crochet. To finish, I'll make one slip stitch in next stitch and I will fasten off. Without turning my work, I will go back to the first five chain space and I will take my yarn and make a knot again. I insert my hook in the five chain space, I yarn over, pull through, and now I'm ready to start row number five. I chain three and make three double crochets.
for a total of four stitches, my three beginning chains and three double crochets more. And now I have to make three picots. Each picot is made in the following way. I chain three, and I make a slip stitch in the first chain. So I insert my hook, I yarn over, and pull through all the loops in my hook. My first picot has been finished. So for the second, I chain three again, and I make a slip stitch in the first chain, and pull all the way through. My second picot is finished. And now for the third, I chain three again, and slip stitch in the first chain. And my three picots have been finished. And now I have to make four double crochets more in the same five chain space. My first block of stitches of row 5 has been finished with 4 double crochets, 3 picots and 4 double crochets in the same 5 chain space. So I will continue repeating this block of stitches in each 5 chain space that follows, leaving the 3 chain spaces uncrocheted. This is the end of row 5, with each block of stitches repeated in each 5 chain space, for a total of 8 blocks. So now, to end this row, I just fasten off. My color necklace has been finished after weaving in all ends. I made the last two rows one way only, so that all our rows are facing on the right side. But if you don't like to cut between row 4 and 5, at the end of row 4, you can go back with slip stitch to the first 5 chain space to start row 5. This can save you some time and weaving in at the end. As you can see, this is a fast and simple project that involves few material and that can make a beautiful present for yourself or your loved one.